Hello and welcome to the part 2 of the Magenta uh, tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to continue on with installing Magenta. In the previous tutorial, in the previous episode, we covered installing Pear into WAMP server. And uh, I'm going to assume you have Pear installed properly and WAMP server running. Uh, next you just go to Magento e-commerce site and download their software. I'm using 1.4.2 and place it into a folder once it's unzipped I'm just going to show you I put it into WAMP the web server created a folder folder for it called Magento Magento and uh, put place all the files in there okay and once you get to that you get to localhost Magento and from there on you should get get you to this screen here and just click on agree, I'll install it with you continue and here this first page has some very basic information you can set your time zone and currency value language continue uh, this page has the your host, local host, yes, database name I called it Magento Test my database Oops. Magento test, yeah. Uh, you'll have to create a database with PHP My Admin. I have to assume that you know how to do that. And uh, that the name you'll put in there. And the root user. In this case, uh, this is WAMP server, and the uh, default setting for WAMP server or MySQL in WAMP server is the root username and no password. And that's what I've left it. Tables, prefix, none. Use web server Apache rewrites. You'll have to set that up in your WAMP control panel. You can uh, click on uh, Apache and select the. Uh, there's a long drop uh, selection panel that pops open, and you can select all the different modules for Apache. Uh, that's in the WAMP server control panel. And then uh, that's about it. Let's continue. Ah, first, first. Uh, anomaly. Please enter a valid URL protocol is required. Now you're getting this because you're using localhost and localhost is not a proper top level domain. A proper top level domain would be .com, .ws, .us, .ca, .org, .info. Those are proper top level domains. So basically what you're going to have to do is bypass that quickly and easily is if you have Firebug running, I don't know if you are familiar with it, but I would download Firebug and install it into your browser. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to inspect that and the validate URL. I'm going to remove it. There's a class that validates, and I'm going to remove that class. See, so the validation class is removed, so it won't it won't check for the authenticity of the base URL because you removed it with Firebug. Continue. I'm going to pause the video here because it takes a while to install all those tables into the database. Okay, the next page. Uh, the create admin account. You just fill in some information. any kind of information that you just want to fill out it doesn't really it doesn't really matter okay let's just fill out name a username will be the one that you use for logging in okay so there's a What's this experience? Uh, oh, this is um, to encrypt uh, passwords. That's not not very important right now. No. Next thing we'll go to backend, and what we'll do is we'll log in. Okay, now what happened was that uh, 
the Magento, the admin panel, that logged in, but it can happen that you don't log in. And what happens is that you type in your username and your password and, and it doesn't log you in. But the thing is, I had already installed Magento and uh, there's still there's already a cookie placed. Now, if you get to the situation where you're trying to log into the admin panel and you can't, and it just keeps showing you the the uh, username and password field and just and, and no error is uh, showing no error is uh, showing up then uh, what you what you need to do is this I already written it out for you go to this URL and uh, make a change in the code and the reason why this is happening is because of the, this this is again the same error it's uh, trying to set a cookie but I can't because the top level domain is uh, doesn't conform to the standard top level domain so basically I'm gonna do this with you just gonna go off the screen go to my computer here Oops. and uh, and I'm just gonna go to magento and what I'm going to do is just going to reduce the size of the screen a bit. It's ridiculously big. Okay. And what I'm going to do is get that. Get that thing. Okay. Uh, app code core mage core model session abstract and variant.php. I'm going to open this with PHP Designer because it's handy. I like using that program for PHP. You can open it in whatever you, you like to use. If you like to use Notepad++ or whatever, use that. Okay, then you go down to the session, session cookie parameters. So see, the session cookie can't set because that top level domain doesn't really uh, confirm to anything so what you do is uncomment those key value pairs in that array so basically what you have is the cookie params is an array with five key value pairs and the last three you uncomment them and of course you have to remove the comma because you don't have a comma on the last item in a list right Okay, and then you file save, and uh, that should do it. That should solve your problem. Uh, in my case, I didn't show up as a problem for the simple reason because I had already installed it and the cookie was already set in the browser. Okay, uh, that's it for now. Uh, the next episode, I'd like to start talking about the. Uh, um, the file setup and uh, primarily we want to work on the theming and how to set up a new theme with in magento so this will, probably, will be more of a developer aspect of tutorial as opposed to the uh, setting up a shopping cart generic shopping cart we'll talk about the blank theme and how to get that going and how that actually the file structure works in the next episode okay thank you bye